This is about being lost, being an adult, and realizing that I knew more as a kid. Seeing myself knowing nothing and standing in someone else's computer screen, pretending like I know something about nothing, which maybe I do. I know something about nothing and not much more than that. Or perhaps some more of the nothing outside of the nothing that others think is what is, which is just an illusion of something formed out of nothing and directed towards people who enjoy thinking they know something about something. Writing is cool. You would never read this if it were written. I hate you for that. But hating is fun. Like loving. And liking. But maybe I have to like you for being there to hate you. In conclusion, I haven't had a burger in a while because I like cows. I like big dogs and have feelings too. But damn it if they don't taste delicious. That's my dilemma. This is why existing is so difficult for me. Liking water isn't hard when you have to drink it. Like air. It's easy that way. We like things that we need. It's fun to like. Even more fun to love. Maybe even more fun to hate. Liking and loving and hating is all fun. And we like doing fun. If I have to sum this all up, it's that learning is growing. But knowledge is death. In short, only dumb people know everything. Your eyes see me. Your mind only sees what it already knows. You don't see me, you see a projection of yourself. Cool. That's an example of some of the nothing that I know. Hey, plus, you all passed by existing. Your eyes see me, but your mind only sees what it already knows. You don't see me, you see a projection of yourself. Cool. That's an example of some of the nothing that I know. A plus, you all passed by existing. What are you looking for, Adam? You know? I won't know until I find it. I keep trying to look at myself and the camera at the same time. It's so difficult. What have I done well this semester? I did getting off antidepressants without killing myself pretty well. I lost a girl I loved, but things lost are always regained in new forms. I lost weight and gained weight and lost it again. I made students laugh and walked them through how to argue effectively to get what they want. They seemed to like that. They seemed to want to know more about it, but I was just a guy on the screen who didn't really know anything. I gave honest feedback on papers. The stop bullshitting me kind of feedback. Everything is pointless and I wrote a novel draft about a guy drowned by nihilism who wanted to make a point in a pointless world. More books. Wrote more stories, traveled the world. I did it using knowledge, using my mind. I learned that mind is everything. It took experience to learn that. It took joining the army. And Things often do not go well when we first begin them. Not as we dream of them in our minds. So clear, and vibrant, lucid and free from the weights of reality. This is also the process of learning. What can I do better? Invest my time in the invisible classroom.
I lost weight and gained weight and lost it again. I made students laugh and walked them through how to argue effectively. world. Pretty cool. <laughs> Things often do not go well. When we first begin them, not as we dream of them in our minds, so clear, and vibrant, lucid, and free from the weights of reality. This is also the process of learning. I've never taught before because I've never thought myself knowledgeable or intelligent enough on a subject to teach it. Say for maybe depression and anxiety, I could teach that in my sleep. Human ignorance too, probably. I have to sum this all up, it's that learning is growing, but knowledge is death. In short, only dumb people know everything. Einstein himself said repeatedly that imagination is more valuable than knowledge, for knowledge is limited. And I think maybe Einstein might have been on to something. You know, if I had gone to school, my imagination, my curiosity had been quenched effectively, rather than stomped and destroyed. I might not have had to join the army, but maybe that was a good thing. We don't know, we won't know until the end. And this is the end of my conversation with dead people in the future. Thank you for your time, I've been Keanu Reeves.